Hi, my name is Mark Nejma. I'm from Newsweed.com. You can always reach out to me and give me a call at 215-219-7699. I love talking about the investments that I make, and I always give my opinion. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who made a little money in the stock market, and I like to use as much as my uh, knowledge uh, and gathering of knowledge to make decisions. So I've been very concerned about the pricing of BNGO, as everyone has, if they're a stockholder, particularly if they bought at a high price. I'm lucky I did not buy at a high price. Uh, but you want to kind of know what's going on with the company. Recently, the company has not been talking about how many units they're selling. We do know that the number of employees is increasing. So we're looking for catalysts. The next catalyst is obviously going to be uh, either an FDA approval or it's going to be earnings, whether good or bad. Uh, if we see a number of machines that are being sold, and then if we see new technology uh, coming out, then that could get us excited and the price could increase as uh, more and more professionals start to take a risk on this company, which is what we want to see. So today uh, I decided, uh, as I talked to uh, Auspicious Descent about many months ago, I'd like to do an audit on the patent. Why? Uh, when I do an audit on the patents, or if I look at the patents, I can get a judgment from professionals on whether they think that patent can be uh, uh, withstand the, uh, the pressure of possibly other people saying that it infringes on their patents. Uh, so as we know, PacBio, Illumina, and other companies uh, are in the same business. We want to make sure that BNGO's nanonozzle patent or other technology that they have is solid, that their IP is solid. Because remember, patents are only good for 20 years. So I sent out a text today, and here it is right here, to Eric Holmland. Uh, and it basically, let me just bring it a little closer to you. All right now I'll read it to you. I said, hi, good morning, sorry to reach out to you so early. It was 6 a.m. his time. Uh, great work your team is doing. I'm evaluating the patents on nanonozzle at the moment and may publish the results. I'm looking at the validity of the patents and freedom to proceed or process potential. Is there a publication on those evaluations previously done? Thank you in advance, Mark Nejma. Okay, so I'll let you see that again. There you go. So. Many people that are CEOs of a major corporation would not send back an answer to that. Uh, Eric does know that I'm a large shareholder. Uh, Mr. Homeland, I should call him, because I do not know him personally face-to-face. -face. Uh, does not uh, does know I'm a large shareholder. So I was uh, pleased to know that he did respond, probably before he went into his office and he said thanks sounds really awesome these types of docs cannot be published because they are all attorney client privileged and I will show you that right there that, that's, there you go so how should I take this uh, so I have to sit here and I have to evaluate this but I'm, I'm asking you to evaluate this from your point of view is this a good response or is that a bad response? Does that make us feel like, uh, oh, wow, these patents are solid or not? Should I go ahead and spend the money on getting the uh, freedom to proceed uh, work done? Well, with the number of shares that I have, most likely I will spend that money because uh, I'm either going to know to sell my stock if it comes back negative or my stock will probably increase in value uh, if the uh, audit comes back favorable. So I'll make that decision, uh, you know, as I uh, always do. But from my opinion and my past experience, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, I was invested in Microvision. Microvision is a company that uh, has uh, various uh, VR uh, headsets and they have also uh, uh, equipment for 
autonomous driving with the LIDAR. And I brought that up that I wanted to do an audit of the patents uh, to the people that were involved there uh, on StockTwits and on you, uh, Yahoo. Uh, and what the reaction I get was got was that, oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. We know our patents are good. We know everything. Don't do that. That reaction itself uh, led me to believe that maybe their patents weren't that solid and maybe uh, MVIS had an issue with uh, their potential moving forward. That wasn't the reaction that I got here from the CEO. And by the way, with Microvision, I never got a reaction from the CEO. I just got a reaction from people that were pumping, in my opinion, pumping. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but it did seem like they were pumping the stock. I immediately sold the stock after I made my assumption that perhaps the uh, patents were not uh, bulletproof. So that's pretty much all I have to say to you today. I'm really happy to kind of hear rumors about FDA approval. That would be a grand uh, gift to us all before the end of the year or early next year. Uh, I think inevitably that'll happen probably, I guess, because so many things are being discovered. But anyway, I wish you all the best. God bless and uh, good luck in your investing. I'm always here. I'm, I'm begging for your feedback. I'm not the smartest guy. I'm a roofer. Uh, I just kind of have to make my uh, judgments based on what I can learn. Uh, so reach out to me at 215-219-7699 or you can contact me at newsweed.com at gmail.com and I really appreciate it uh, and I look forward to learning more from other YouTubers that have other information uh, on BNGO. Thanks a lot. So I'm going to turn now and you get to see my bald head again, uh, but thank you very much.